Ron Clark Kent seems to get thrown out at home a lot. Will he make it this time? Here he comes. Please play it. going to be close. Here's the throw. Here's the play at the plate. Holy cow, I think he's going to make it. Stop right there. I got to know right now. Well, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait to see how this play ends. Hello, everyone. I'm Davis. Welcome to the WCSAA Softball Highlights for August 9, 2022. Before we get to the game, let's check in with Punxsutawney Phil Polakowski as he eats his pregame meal. Okay, it's showtime. Lenny the Natural Alvarado cracks one deep into right center field. No one is even in the same area code to get the ball. George Carlson has to pack a lunch so he can retrieve the ball. Lenny cruises home with a two-run homer. Richie Mack had a productive day. Here he drills a double to center field. Base is loaded for Richie. Oh, Richie gives this one a ride. That's in a gap. Oh, Artie's coming in. Donnie's coming. Here's the throw to the plate. Safe. Oh, Richie. Good tag, Rich. Joe Popcorn rips a triple past the outfielders. Paul the brother Howard comes in to score for the running ribs. John Voodoo Dahlstrom sends a fly ball deep into the gap for a double. Brian Jensen scores easily. As Brian was crossing the plate, activity was brewing at Brooklyn Police Precinct 99. They've been scouting the WCSAA players for some time now in the hopes of playing a game against them. Okay, here's what I found out about our competition. Brian Jensen, born 1899, served in the Navy during World War I. A hero at the Battle of Scimitar Hill, Jensen perished in a factory fire in the Netherlands. This may be a different Brian Jensen. Okay, let's get back to live action. All right, Brian, this one's this one's for the baseball card. For the baseball card. Oh, I better. Good form. There you go. Oh, that looked good too. Okay, excuse me, Paul. Here's Artie. Oh, that's a good, that's a kick, is that one a ride? It's over his head. Oh, Mark is down. Artie's going too. Dave comes in to score. Oh, Artie. Almost all over again, Artie. After Brent Big Hurt Turner's base hit, Brian Farrell lines a bases clearing double to center. That's a 
It scored three runs and cut the Rebel Braves' lead in half in the last inning. Oh! Let's take a look at some fine fielding from today's game. Mark of Zorro Fleonis robs Rudy Dahlstrom of a base hit. Oh, Richie with the grab. David the Beast Carlson takes one away from Joe Corn. You can tell that Joe really wanted that one. Oh, grab my day for the out. Oh, rocket shot. Double play. We opened the show with this one. Now we can answer the burning question. Will Ron beat the throw or will he be thrown out at the plate for the fifth time this year? Come on, Joe. Nobody out. Gonna drop, gonna drop. Right in Artie's glove. Drop the ball, the ball. Even though Dave calls him out, he doesn't see the bobble. Ron is safe. Thank God. I don't think the poor guy could take getting thrown out again. Now it's time for everyone's favorite game show. You make the call. Let's see what Lowell Spinner's Curtis has gotten himself into today. Oh, he goes up on. G-Man makes the out call. It's still hard to tell from the video, but it looks like Wild Bill Cross's throw reaches Wally Fluffernutter in a nick of time. <laughs> oh! Oh, and that's the game! Grab the bags! That's the game. We don't bat in the bottom of the sixth. So four score in the bottom, in the middle of the sixth inning for a 12-10-5 game. Billy gets the win. Pat comes in second. And Dave brings up the rear. Oh. Teddy, good pitching way to end the game there. Well, well, good strike out to lose today. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like my bland, emotionless play by play calls, please let Brian know. Otherwise, he's going to fire my ass and replace me with someone else. I'm Davis. I'll see you next time. Maybe. <laughs>